Okay, welcome to example number one. Let's say you kneel beside a fish pond in your backyard and to look at one of the fish and you see from the light that is uh, reflecting off of this fish from the sun that it hits the surface at an angle of 60 degrees and refracts outwards towards your eye. And what we're asked to find is the angle of refraction, uh, this theta b. So this is a problem that involves Snell's law. So n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2. But really, theta 1, you can assume, is the air, and theta 2 is the water. Okay, and we're given the index refraction in the air, the index refraction in the water, and we're given the 60 degree angle. Now hopefully, you realize that theta in the water, as we label here as A, is actually 90 minus 60 degrees, which is 30 degrees. So don't get tricked in using the 60 degree angle because that's not the angle with respect to the normal. And since we're solving for the angle theta b, let's rewrite this equation as sine theta b equals n sub a sine theta a all over the index refraction for b and the air. And now all you need to do is substitute. So that is 1.33 for the index refraction of water sine of 30 degrees divided by 1.00 okay and the sine of theta b is equal to 0.665 and so if you do the arc sine of 0.665 you're going to get an angle of 41.7 degrees and that's it for example number one